This is from MetsmerizedOnline.com. Mets Miners 2023 Statistical Leaders. And before we get into this video, I need you, need you to do two things. One, I need you to watch the very end of this video. We'll talk about the memberships and what you can expect on uh, if you become a member of this channel. And two, hit the subscribe button. I'm telling you, you'll have, you're going to learn a lot of stuff about the Met Farm System here. Uh, the New York Mets Farm System ultimately had a far more intriguing 2023 season than fans could have predicted entering the year. With the disappointing play of the Major League Club and the subsequent deals at the trade deadline, it's arguable that more eyes are on the team's farm hands than on the major leagues by the end of the season. Nowhere was this more evident than in Binghamton, where the Rumble Ponies made the postseason with a roster chock full of high level talent. Every player to lead the organization's in statistical category this season played with the Rumble Ponies at some point, making it a summer to remember in Binghamton. Here are those six players, starting with the offensive stats. Offense. Luis Angel Cunha hit 294 and 57 stolen bases. Acuna started the 2023 season as a consensus top 100 prospect in baseball and one of the Texas Rangers' most esteemed assets. He came out of the gates flying, posting a, three point, a 315 batting average with an 830 OPS with, with 42 stolen bases in his first 84 games with the Frisco Rough Riders. Acuna was ultimately acquired by the Mets in the trade that sent Max Scherzer to the Rangers at the deadline. He did not find nearly as much success in Binghamton posting a 622 OPS with just two homers in 37 games. He recorded another 15 stolen bases in that span, but he saw just about all of his other stats drop off rather significantly. Acuna's strong start ultimately helped him maintain the organization's lead in both batting average and stolen bases. He does not have the raw talent that his older brother, Braves superstar outfielder Ronald Acuna Jr. possesses. However, Luis Angel does provide a decent amount of pop, 39 extra base hits this season, and his speed is certainly a game changer. Acuna is most likely to begin the year with Syracuse, and it may not be much longer before he joins the Major League squad in Queens. Jet Williams, 876 on base percentage. OPS, excuse me. Williams had a superb 2023 in just his age 19 season, making the jump from low A to double A and seemingly improving with each new challenge placed in front of him. He posted an 832 OPS in 79 games with St. Lucie before posting an outstanding 1018 OPS in 36 games with Brooklyn. Williams' slash line includes a ridiculous 426 on base percentage, the result of drawing 104 walks in 121 games. He also tends to cause havoc when he does reach base, racking up 45 steals and only being caught stealing seven times. His power at the plate was also a pleasant surprise as he recorded 43 extra base hits, including 13 home runs. Williams has an extremely strong command of the strike zone despite being so early in his development as a player. However, he also struck at 118 times, so there's obvious room for improvement. He has demonstrated great positional flexibility flexibility, and split in times both shortstop and center field. His likely home within the Mets organizations in the outfield given the team's long-term commitment to Francisco Lindor. Williams is certainly a player to keep an eye on entering his second full season in the minors in 2024. Luke Ritter, 27 homers. Ritter entered the 23 season with 33 homers and 267 career minor league games, but he found this power stroke early in the summer. He had three multi-homer games and 11 total home runs in the span of 15 days, including a three-homer effort on June 11th. He earned the promotion from Binghamton to Syracuse on the back of that strong showing, and he managed to hit 12 more homers the rest of the season, with four of those coming in the last five games of the year. Ritter was a four-year college player before being drafted by the Mets in the seventh round of the 2019 draft, so a player hitting that many homers and double A during his their age 26 season is not nearly as exciting as if a younger prospect had done it. Still, Ritter's power was certainly a welcome development, and he also drastically improved his walk rate. It's unclear if Ritter will ultimately do anything more than a, be a reserve player with plus power. Given the Mets' struggles this season with dipping into the minors for reliable injury villains, 
that might be enough to see him get a shot in the majors at some point in 2024. Now the pitching. Tyler Stewart, a 2.20 ERA. Stewart had perhaps the most impressive season of any Mets minor league pitcher. In his first full year of professional baseball, he led all minor league starters in ERA, holding that top spot for just about the entire season. He didn't allow more than two earned runs in any of his first 16 starts. He completed seven innings on five different occasions, and he had four scoreless starts of at least five innings. Stewart's strikeout and walk rates were not particularly impressive, but his ability to work out of trouble was superb. He's an imposing presence on the mound at 6'9 and 250 pounds, and is every bit the part of a valuable rotation piece moving forward, despite not be, being on many fans' radars entering the year. Stewart should begin his age 24 season in AA, where he finished 2023 by posting a 3.60 ERA across seven starts. If he can replicate his success from this past year, it may not be long before he gets his chance on the big league stage. Dominic Hamill, 160 strikeouts. Hamill struck out 145 batters across 119 innings during the 2022 season. He followed that up by striking out 160 batters in 124 innings this past season. Hamill generates a ton of swing and misses, and when he's on his game, he can be downright dominant on the mound. He closed out the 23 season with 14 scoreless innings across his final three regular season starts before firing 72 thirds innings in his lone postseason appearance. Hamill does struggle a bit with command, as he used at least as he issued at least three walks in nine different outings. He also saw his home run rate jump quite a bit, and he generally gave up more contact than in his debut season. Hamill will look to keep the strikeout numbers high while limiting free passes as a likely member of the Syracuse rotation to open his age 25 season. Christian Scott, 0.86 walks and hits per 9 inning. Whip. Scott pitched across three levels in the minors this season and did an excellent job of limiting base runners all year. He allowed 63 hits and 12 walks on 87 and two-thirds innings on the mound also racking up 107 strikeouts. He only gave up five home runs, and he managed to post a stellar 2.57 ERA after a more middling 4.45 ERA in 2022. Scott was a fifth-round pick in the 21 draft and demonstrated marked improvement over his first professional season. The strikeout rate may have dipped slightly, but he posted better stats across the board while evolving into yet another dependable arm in an already stacked Binghamton rotation. He could start the year at either double A or triple A, and he'll certainly be on the radar of the Major League Club following his impressive 2023 season. Now, before we end this video, I need to let you know what kind of perks or perk I'm going to have on this channel if you want to be a member. Now, the first video I posted for the members on this channel was a video on a Mets prospect uh, called Brian Cole. He died in 2001 before the baseball season began. He was a highly prized prospect in the Mets organization. He was going to be part of the David Wright, Jose Reyes team, and he, that never happened. And I found an article talking about him and his life and how he had a, a great positive effect on the people that he was around, his family, and I did a video on that, and I did, a, and at the end of that video, I played a, uh, a segment, I guess from, I guess from where he's from, I guess down in South Carolina, where they went and talked to his family and people that watched him and his friends, and and that's the video I did. For, so if you're a member, you get to watch that entire thing on this channel. So if you become a member, that's the first video you'll be exposed to, and now have pictures and different things. I posted a picture of, of Brian Cole. But also, the second video, which I have, you know, sort of in the plan stages, is I'm going to talk about the 1980 Major League Baseball draft. There wasn't just Daryl Strawberry that was drafted that was a key piece to the 1986 team. There were other players that were drafted in that, in that draft, and they were very important uh, for the team to be able to win a championship, their last championship. As you know... 
Uh, we talk about prospects here because that's the foundation behind your team. If you have a bad farm system, you don't have strong foundation, and you don't have an ability to win a championship. So I will be doing different things like that on this channel. I start with the 1980 draft because really Daryl Strawberry is the greatest draft pick the Mets ever had, in my view. Because he delivered a World Series championship by that first move that Frank Cashin made. That was the first move of Frank Cashin was drafting Daryl Strawberry. And that move helped him win a World Series. He was a big piece, one of the bigger pieces. One of four big pieces of that team. And one of two pieces that were drafted during the early Cashin years. So I will do a video on that and we'll have a whole bunch of stuff on all these different players that were on the team and just across the board, I will go back to every draft and talk about every prospect the Mets ever had, either if they be signed as a free agent in the international uh, uh, you know, market or as a drafted player. And we're going to start with Daryl Strawberry and we're going to talk about all the other players that were in that draft. Two big players, two key players, uh, three uh, players in the first uh, 40 selections were key pieces for the 86 team. So it's a very interesting draft to go through. So so please hit the join button. You'll get all this kind of information on this channel. You won't get this on any other channel. All this great information on all these prospects from the past and the present. I'll do other things in terms of the present uh, prospects as well. So you let me know what you think about this video. And of course, join the, the, this community, hopefully. And... Uh, Thank you and have a good day.